All right, so let's talk about this uh, ABPA, um, African Business Professional Alliance. What is it? Well, ABPA is a newly formed organization uh, that is made up of uh, six professional uh, bodies. Uh, we've come together, in essence, under a common goal of celebrating excellence and achievement. Uh, and it's a non-racial organization, but uh, our main objective is to promote our commitment to professional excellence as well as putting forward the transformation agenda. Right. So that's, in a nutshell, what all the organizations coming together are doing. Yes, and those six organizations are ABASA, uh, APSIP, AWCA, BBEC, PPF, and BMF. Okay. But all of those organizations, they still are working independently yes but, but we've come together uh you know under this common goal as I've, I've mentioned yeah yeah why 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 are you coming together under this common goal i think it's time for collaborative effort uh i think the past 20 years of democracy have been about you know in solidifying that entrance into uh, the economic space from a, a black perspective it's also about professionals you know embedding their space in terms of you know how do we then add value and how do we have those opportunities and maximize on them uh, and so it's been a lot of activities in various spaces. And we said, you know, in this instance, it makes sense to come together, uh, have one voice around this common goal, but also to say, how do we then unlock common efficiencies and how do we then have synergies uh, in terms of moving the, the transformation agenda forward? Your views on the transformation? Um, do you think it's good enough? Or clearly, from forming an organisation like this, it, it 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 isn't in your in your in your eyes. Or well, I, I think wrong? we've made strides. We we have to be fair in having a balanced view. We've made strides. Uh, we've seen the outliers come through. You have the likes of Patrice Mutsipe and the like. Um, you know, even within the pre, uh, uh, professional sector, we've seen our fellow professionals make it to the you know the the apex of of their professions. But I think we still have a long way to go. If if you take into account, you know, the demographics of our country and what that translates to in terms of business, we still have a long way to go. Uh, having recognized that we've made uh, strides, you know, then how do we regroup and make sure that going forward we address, you know, the challenges that face us ahead? Okay, let's talk about let's let's talk about our Reserve Bank Governor because um, that's really the focus here. Mm -hmm. uh, he was brought in last month. Um, I think he started the middle of last month. What was businesses' reaction, particularly uh, the, 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 the six organizations together? And, and so far, how do you think he's been performing? You know, I think I think our governor was well received. Uh, he's one man who's cut his teeth in the industry. I mean, he started in the banking sector as an accounts clerk. For me, he's a true epitome of what it means to get your, your teeth in there and really work your way up all the way to the highest position in terms of, yeah. of the banking or finance sector. Uh, we'll see with the reaction on the day that the announcement was made, the markets were fairly stable. So the reception, in my opinion, has been very good. Um, and uh, he's already had his first monetary policy uh, announcement. And I think we're all grateful to have received the news that uh, the interest rates would remain uh, stable, yeah. uh, considering the very challenges that we faced as a country and as an economy. Yeah. So uh, generally a positive reaction towards him. Um, what about our finance minister? Because, I mean, obviously that's a, that's a focus of you as well and the, and the work that you're doing. Uh, minister Nena is also doing well. I mean, he, he has been in that space for the longest of time. I think for us, it shows you that black excellence is not a proxy, you know, for, for, um, for mediocrity. It's not a proxy for non-performance. Um, you know, it, it, it is actually that we have that talent. And how do we celebrate that talent? How do we heighten that talent? And uh, I'm sure you'll agree that having seen where we are, that there's been that positive reception. It doesn't take away that the two gentlemen have a very very difficult job at their hands yeah um, you know and how do we then as professionals rally together to ensure that they have the adequate support uh, in executing that role yeah so uh, that's part of the mandate in terms of the ABPA all right so I know that there's a there's a big dinner happening um, it's 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 for the Reserve Bank governor what's 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 happening it's on Thursday night am I right yes okay. we're having a congratulatory dinner yeah. uh, in the honor of the governor on Thursday evening it will be held at the Senton Convention Center it is a closed uh, event, yeah. um, but in, in essence, we're saying, you know, we recognize the significant milestone in your career. Uh, we recognize the challenges that it comes with. But, you know, let's take a pause and a step back and really celebrate what it really means, you know, to have role models who for our youth are also saying it is all possible. 
And, you know, it's hard work, it's dedication, it's determination, it's resilience. We know that it's challenging to get to those levels. And uh, having been there, how do we then rally and give you the support to ensure that there's great success for wow. all of us, in essence, uh, as, as a country? Excellent. Well, I'm sure this is not the last time we're going to be hearing about the, the organization and the work that you're doing. But thank you for coming in. Thanks for introducing us to the African Business and Professional Alliance. Uh, they're hosting a dinner for our new Reserve Bank Governor, Mr. Lissé. And, uh, of course, this is for his, his appointment. And uh, just going forward, just as you say, a role model and somebody that has done exceptionally well in his pro professional career, joining the public service back in 1996. In fact, he actually uh, began at the Treasury before his promotion to the position of Director General in 2004. Thank you. Thanks for joining us here on the program. Lesejo Senelo, who is the spokesperson for the organization. Thanks, Leon. All Thanks right.